today. We're back again here with Touch Chat uh, with Word Power, and I am going to show you this time. I'm going to show you how to import a photo uh, into one of your buttons. Um, in case you want a real photo instead of uh, one of the symbols that they have there. So we're going to go to, I want to add a toy. So we're going to go to groups and we're going to go to toys and games. Um, there are benefits or positives and negatives to adding a real photo. Uh, for example, if you can see here, the Legos is a symbol that's already here. It's not a real photo of, let's say, my, my actual Legos. So if a child, if you import real actual, actual photos all the time, um, it may not be good for generalization. Really what we would like to do if possible is use a symbol, um, for Legos or anything else so that they can generalize, uh, and not if someone, if there's a real picture of Legos, then the, the child might learn that only though that real picture is Legos, if that makes sense. And it, it's harder to generalize. But there are students that or clients or patients that um, definitely need a real photo. And that's okay. You just have to figure out what's best for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a row down here because I've decided that my, the user, my, my kiddo, uh, can, can, is ready for another row and I want to add some of his favorite toys. So I'm going to go to menu, I'm going to go to edit page and then I'm going to go to menu again and I'm going to edit page layout and then I'm going to add a row. So it's going to be five rows and five columns before it was four rows and four columns. Then I'm going to save and then I'm going to choose um, a button here to create, create new button. I'm going to put a label. I'm going to do magnetiles because that is my child's or my client or my patient's favorite toy. So I want to add that into his device. There's no image here. Um, so I'm going to import photo and then my image that I like for magnetiles is right here. Um, move to scale, you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. Uh, let's do this, that looks good. We're gonna hit use and then done. And then um, if you scroll down, you can see there it is. Um, and then we're gonna save and there it is. Magnetiles. Magnetiles. <laughs> So it sounds kind of funny. So you can also um, either change the voice, unless that's the voice you have already selected for your client, um, or you can change the, the spelling if it works. You kind of have to play with it a little bit. But the other thing I want to show you is that if you see here, this is yellow, and the rest of the toy items are white in the background. So I just want to make it uniform. I'm going to go up to menu again. I'm going to edit page, and then I'm going to edit the button and then I'm going to scroll down here and you can see you can change the body color you can change the border color you can change the text color we're going to change the body color from yellow or light yellow to white so that it matches the other toy items there it is right there and then we're going to hit done Magnetiles. <laughs> you might want to play around with that um either the voice or or the way it's spelled just to make it sound a little different. Um, or if you like it that way, that's fine too. All right, that's all for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Please let me know what you think, comment, question, subscribe, like, uh, let me know what other videos I can make for you guys. Thank you, have a great night.